So it is time to harvest the batteries out of this. So these are actually pretty simple to harvest, but it is extremely dangerous because these are lithium 18650 batteries in here. And if you mistreat them, they can come back to bite you very, very hard. So hopefully the camera can see there's a seam running right along here. And you see that? I don't know. That's where the seam is at. And then it's on this side, it's up here. So that's where we need to split this thing apart, is right there. And we got to be really careful. So that's going to be the tricky part, is getting that initial split in the seam started. And then from there, it should come open fairly easily. So I've got various plier tools here that I'm going to use. I'm going to use one of the big ones here. I'm I don't know which one to hold it and then probably the needle nose or maybe that to try to pull that steam that seam apart and get it started so safety is the number one thing here I've got my safety glasses that I'll wear and you should have a pretty good uh, heavy set of gloves because as I said if you abuse these batteries they can just go wild on you and they can explode you can have flames and they tend to take off like a rocket. I know this from personal experience. And I have to say, I'm quite embarrassed to say it, but in the, I believe it was the first pack I ever tried to harvest. It was something like this. And I had tried to take, I don't know if it was this or if it was a screwdriver, and I tried to pry this apart. It just seems natural to try to pry that thing open with a screwdriver. And the fact is, the lithium cells are just right inside there. There's, there's very little, this plastic is not all that thick. It's pretty strong, but it's just, it's so tempting to try to do that. And if you do that and you puncture it, now you got a rocket taken off. I highly recommend taking this thing outside. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this outside and do it. That way, if something does go wrong, and there's a chance it could, you're going to be outside and not inside your house with this rocket going off. So let's head outside and take this thing apart. Okay, well, I've been struggling out here for 10 minutes trying to get this thing started, and I finally got it started. So we've got nine cells there. They're bright yellow. I've never had any like that. The circuit board's going to be, there you can see part of it there, and then... Underneath there's probably going to be more circuit board, BMS, and all that. Can't see a name on these. Looking for a, hopefully there'll be a good brand name like Sanyo, Sony, Panasonic, Samsung, something like that. But somehow I don't think they're going to be. But anyway, we need to remove the whole thing before we take it back in the house. I have removed the pack from what was left of the little battery box. Anyway, they look pretty good. I can't see any brand name on there at all. It does say made in Taiwan, so they're probably just very cheap, uh, crummy 18650s. So I can see these three are positive, negative here, same way with this one and that one. So they're mounted in parallel and series to make a 12 volt battery. Even though it said 11.1 on the uh, on the uh, the package or on the uh, battery bank um, uh, container, uh, the laptop thing, um, fully charged, these would be 4.2 volts, so that would come out to be a 12 volt battery. So anyway, the moment of truth here. I'm not holding out too much hope, so let's start up the this thing so you can see it put it on 12 volts if you can see that there all right let's see we can just test the whole thing because it's all still connected up and there we go and oh that's not good that's showing like one volt yeah that's not it looks like it says 10.23, I don't believe that's, that's 1.024, so that's one volt, right? Or one milliamp or something, I don't know, thousand milliamp. 
Anyway, it's not looking too good, so we can go ahead and test individual cell. And that's basically the same thing, one volt. And it appears to be pretty dead and probably not going to be savable. Yeah, that's even a negative there. Uh, yeah, I would say these are not going to be savable. But I can give it a shot. I can, uh, I've got two, way of ch two ways of charging batteries, and I'll show you one of those. The one I'll use right now and see if I can't bring this back up. Connections look like they're all they're all connected. Just uh, yeah, I think they're just really cheap batteries, and they didn't have any life left to them at all. Or they might have been like reskinned used batteries. I know that does happen sometimes. Anyway, we'll get out one of my chargers and give it a shot. 